long ago that you can never come to work with a plan. So, so my intent could be, okay, I'm going to do vision screenings. I'm going to do some like special ed reports. I'm going to see my diabetics. I'm going to check in with a student who I had concerns about before, but one thing can happen and that goes all out the door. So, um, a typical day is pretty um, unpredictable. <laughs> so sometimes we're here, we have to de-escalate situations yes. sometimes. Yeah. Because some people, they freak, they can't handle the sight of blood and they will overreact. Um, yes. Well, and I yes. get it too because it's like, it's your kids and it's your, it's their health yes. and it's like, what happens if I don't It happens with yeah. headlines. Yes, with well. headlines. <laughs> with headlines. headlines there's is a lot of different, thing. yeah, there's a lot mm -hmm. of different kit they or conditions that or states that I think people really worry about but because of our experience um, that we're not so easily um, excited <laughs> we work well together yeah we do work well we're together. team yes <laughs> definitely a team she's my eyes and ears when I can't be here so I definitely rely on her skill and knowledge to get me through <laughs> so good at knowing this stuff and juice comes in we're always kind of trying to be aware of how he feels what he looks like does he look normal or does he look not so great so sometimes we'll make note if he's tired or if he'd been out running like crazy and if he's sweating that kind of thing so but so that's the first thing we look at him um, at that moment and then as he comes in we go through the routine he comes in and washes his hands uh, and then we'll go up into our med cabinet get his um, actual blood glucose meter even though we have the continuous blood glucose meter and with technology it's not always the most accurate so we always go back to old school ways and uh, test with the blood glucose meter and so then we determine his blood sugar okay and so once we get his blood sugar reading then we determine um, how much insulin he needs so we currently have 11 nurses in the district and I actually job share with another nurse so we have 10 full-time positions um, for credentialed school nurses. So I am, Battles is considered my home school okay. so I am, it's kind of my main base, uh, home base, uh, but with my job share partner her home base school is Alvin and so they contact me whenever she's not working so the days I'm on I actually cover both battles and Alvin and today because the nurse at Jimenez is gone I picked up that school of responsibility well it's very common for us to be traveling between schools sometimes even multiple times a day um, so we're not really to have a day where we're actually stationed at one school the whole day is very rare. If it was something more serious, then Angelica the Health Aid would have addressed it with me and asked me, hey, can you come have a look at this? Like sometimes you have kids. Rashes can tend to be a little difficult <laughs> because, you know, no one really knows their rashes. So, so trying to determine whether it's serious or not to seek medical care, that often falls on the school nurses. When a student comes into the health office and I'm trying to determine how severe their initial complaint is, I'm also asking questions to determine if there's something else going on. Um, if they have bags under their eyes, I ask about their sleeping patterns. You know, so we're really looking at the whole picture and how that can affect them as an individual and I really take each opportunity I can to educate them. to the first grade classrooms I'm gonna do um, color vision screening and it's a mandate and so I do color vision screening on the all the first grade boys because she might um, go low because we're kind of on the lower end there okay all right thank you Laura okay okay bye bye so sometimes it's as easy as that. Um, I gotta do the math in my head, but <laughs> I love it. Sometimes challenging, uh, but uh, and with Laura, she's also an experienced health aide. So we train, we do a lot of training with our health aides to make sure that we feel confident that they're they're kind of able to do um, oversee that part of insulin administration because. Uh, 
we do need to if we could be there doing it ourselves, we would. Sure. But because being at multiple school sites at the same time is just not feasible for us, we do rely on our health aides and making sure that they're really well trained so that we can make sure the insulin dose is correct. So what she's gonna do is, I told her the insulin dose, she's gonna make sure that that's what the student is administering to herself and then um, send her on her way and then I just asked her to do a follow up call. And then finally, because I know he's about to come in here. Um, oh, yeah. How did you celebrate um, School Nurse Day yesterday? Oh, well, that's fu a fun question. <laughs> um, so we went out to dinner as nurses. Our boss invited us out to dinner. And so um, we went to Kohan Luke's, and then we went to the board meeting <laughs> to be recognized. Mm -hmm. And the, our boss said some really nice things. Uh, Dr. Zimmerman and um, really praised us for what we were doing in the schools and our role. And then the school board actually said some nice things as well. So it was really nice.